They'll tell on themselves every time, every time they're going to tell on themselves. You're going to know who's really in your corner and who's not in your corner. Yeah, you'll know. You'll know right off the bat. Right off the bat. You'll know who's who. You'll know what's what. Don't get fooled by the grand opening sign, you know what I mean? Because grand opening can quickly become grand closing. It could all just be a play. And you get this. You'll get that sometimes. You ever have fake support? And fake love, you can always tell whether, whether it's fake or not because it's always pretentious. And it always comes across like they trying to stroke your ego to try to get something up out of you. Because whatever compliments those are, they're too consistent to be considered official. Not to say that you should have a need, feel a need to get praised all day every day. Because that's just as shallow as the person who's trying to keep back the rightful praise from you. Both sides is petty. These are things to think about. So you can know what's what. And again, it's more of an encouragement for you to be your own cheerleader. You have to. You got to be your own cheerleader. And you got to cheer first. Don't wait for the crowd. Don't wait for the people. Don't wait for the approval. Don't even let it matter whether they know about you or they just sleeping on you or they just hating on you or they just trying to play you. Nah, you just, as they say in masonry, you just stay on your square and keep your compass calibrated toward true north, what they call magnetic north. Keep your compass on true north and you'll be fine. Is it going to come with more BS than a bachelor's degree? <laughs> a bachelor's of science? Yeah, it's going to come It's going to come with more BS. And not to say that that degree is BS. I'm just using the initials for a play on words. Pun intended. So yeah, you're gonna you're gonna have that. But uh to let it to let it roll off your shoulders, it's not as easy as just saying I'ma forget about it. Not if you ain't replacing it with a new fresh thought. You might be like, yeah, this person hating on me, but I'll be alright. Nah, you may you may not be just alright. You might have to do a little more. You might have to really have a pep rally. Cause at the end of the day, you know, not not everybody, not everybody is real. Not everybody is real. Not everybody is realistic. Some people are just really trying to, you know, set you up or or just be fake or they trying to use you as a come up. And if you don't come up fast enough, you know what I'm saying? If you don't come up fast enough, they're going to try to uh, come up over you or springboard and launch launch pad right onto the next scenario, next uh, situation, next opportunity. You know, so this is still. Uh, um, this is still considered red pill content, but I wanted to add the blue pill in there as well for the working world. It works like that with a boss. If you don't have your own business, just don't expect any company to be 100 percent loyal to you. That includes your pension. That includes what you think you're going to retire with, how your 401k matches, because a lot of them are putting their money in the stock market. And if it's going in the stock market, your money is being placed in a casino. That's what the stock market is. It's a casino. That's all it is. And a lot of people be put in there. Uh, Hard-earned pensions, you know, saving up money in the, in the state, you know what I mean, city job. And a lot of these organizations that they're working for and working with and putting all the blood, sweat, and tears into, that money's being gambled off on the stock market. And next thing you know, the 50000 that they took 25 years saving up, that little one-year salary, and that don't make no sense either, but the little one-year salary that they managed to scrape up, even that gets eaten away all the way down to like 15 k This is blue pill, red pill reality. You know what I mean? And again, folks ain't going to have your best interest in heart. Don't even expect them to. Don't lead with over suspicion, but don't expect the person to even have your best interest at heart either. Nah. Trust just enough not to be offensive. Be just as apprehensive enough not to be standoffish. But don't be so warm nature that you come across as vulnerable because people will try to play you and you tell them don't play me play play ds because if you try to play others ultimately you're really just playing yourself whether you believe that or not yeah if you play somebody else you, you you're basically playing yourself and they always say play the game play the game but if only one side is benefiting 
then the other person who's not the beneficiary of the game don't need to play that game. There's, there's a reason why there's different sports. You don't have to play these games with folks. Don't play their games. Let them play themselves out. And you just hold on because there's a whole nother game, a whole nother team waiting on you where you're the true superstar, coach, franchise owner, all that good stuff. Don't take all your talents to a person that don't deserve it and you end up being a Fortune 500 company all by yourself, but red shirting for a team that could barely pull in a thousand a week.